Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to talk about why mining Chia on my already mining rigs makes perfect sense. All right, guys. So the reason why mining on mining Chia on my Ethereum rigs makes great sense. There's a big reason why. Let me tell you why. On all my laptops, I can connect the external hard drives and they all can run NVMEs. You're probably saying, well, what's that matter? Well, not all desktop motherboards, especially older ones, can, can can use a NVMe, which is a super fast SSD. So I can use SSDs in this, but I cannot use an NVMe without a PCIe riser. So you know what? It's mining. It's not using hardly any of the CPU. So why not throw a couple eight terabytes? Oh wait, this one's got room and they're on their way to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drives, and I have all the caddies. So guess what? Eight times ten, 80 terabytes. So I can have 80 terabytes, if not more, in this one computer mining. And all I got to do is plot them out, and then they're farming. On these, I have one super speed port. The NVMEs are already installed in all these. So guess what? Each one of these can have a 24 port USB adapted to it by its own power and I can run up to 24 drives. I could max this out with 24 drives as well. And those usually are up to 14 terabytes a piece. Some of them are the higher end USB modules can be more. So these computers have plenty of processing power thanks to being gaming laptops and desktops that they can process in parallel. So I can plot in parallel and with plotting in parallel, I can get them done a lot faster. So one, two, three, and four plotting. So I got four machines, four CPUs with six cores a piece. I've got 24 cores total being able to plot against uh, 16, 16, 16. Yes, baby girl. Hold on. Uh, Salem's getting mad. I'm talking. Um, so 16 gigs of RAM in each of these and actually 32 in that one. So yeah, I got plenty of RAM, plenty of processing power. Plus they're still mining Ethereum. It doesn't affect it. That one's mining Ethereum. That one is, that one is. These two aren't mining uh, Chia yet. Chia's on that one. Chia's on this one and Ethereum's on that one. And yes, I know the office is a mess right now because we're going through, <laughs> we're going through old inventory we're rewiring all the mining rigs. But yes, that is why it makes sense to use my Ethereum mining rigs to mine Chia at the same time. So is it worth me to mine Chia? You know what? It's like playing a scratch-offs. If you're willing to drop hundreds of dollars on scratch-offs and possibly not win, I'm I'm willing to drop hundreds of dollars on hard drives. That's It's that simple. They're not that expensive. Graphics cards, I can get literally four 8 terabyte hard drives for the price of one graphics card right now. And if I hit one time, I'm going to, I'm going to, at $1,100, I'm going to easily make my money back. So it's just a gamble. But if you have any questions, guys, about my setup and how it's working, go ahead and subscribe and hit that comment section. And I'll try to make a video explaining it more. Also, I have a video coming up on how to actually uh, farm on a different computer, but plot on a computer over network. So we're, we set up a rig at my buddy's house where... We're actually plotting over network, and it actually works really well. He's actually at the same speed as me with the same equipment. So pretty interesting right there. 